Microservices is the software industry's most successful confidence scam. And while I agree with what he's pointing out, all of these types of conversations miss what actually matters. This is not about microservices or a monolith or small teams. But regardless, if you have a monolith or microservices, whether you're a small team or not, the key is to define logical boundaries. There's a difference between logical boundaries and physical boundaries. If you have a high degree of coupling, that's your problem. No, that's because of coupling. More specifically, what people feel the pain of is temporal coupling. If you're in your monolith and you had the same type of degree of coupling, you might not feel as much pain, but that coupling is still there and the pain's still there. It's just hidden. When you introduce that network, uh, network boundary, it just exposed it. I always say defining logical boundaries or services are one of the most important things to do, but one of the most difficult things to do. You really need to understand the domain and how the interactions are going to work because you do not want a high degree of coupling. You want your logical boundaries to be as autonomous as you possibly can be. There shouldn't be a mess of coupling between boundaries. Typically that happens because you're more focused on the technical aspect than you are about the actual business behaviors and capabilities of your system. In my example here, I have one that's our HTTP API, could be sitting behind a load balancer and we're scaling that out. But I also have the exact same code base, but instead its entry point is actually listening to a queue, a message broker, an event log, and performing work asynchronously. Now on our database side, you could scale that up. You could scale that out depending on what type of database you're using or you're introducing read replicas. But there's so many different ways that you can scale a monolith. Jumping to independent deployability isn't necessarily the first thing you need to do for scale. Now, while I agree with a lot of what he wrote, I think it's kind of silly that we're still even talking about this this way. This isn't, we got to go beyond the microservices good or microservices bad in a small team or whatever context. How about we start talking about the actual underlying issues here? Adding physical boundaries has a cost. That's what he was describing. Is the cost worth it? Well, you need to understand what the actual trade-offs are and what the value is. I think we need to get totally beyond this because fundamentally at the root of almost all of this is poor design and poor coupling.